what is it? Listen, Dennis. I have said it, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. If there is no peace, there will be no sharing of assets. How can a bunch of elders sit at home and watch the homestead burn to ashes? Watch your tongue, you city rat. Enough of your insult. Who made you a judge? When has a stranger grown to be a freeborn and dictate to me how I run my homestead? Beware, you city lawyer. Who think you are learned? Beware before you confront the unmentionable. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You go to the city and I tore it all. You build mansions and then states. You ride a fleet of cars and frolic with women. Okay. You and come back to the village with your city tricks to rob us. Go back and tell them. There will be no peace. peace. What did you say? There will be uh, no there peace. Will peace. That there will be no peace. Uh, go, you city rat. Go and tell your city lords that as long as they sing the tune, we will continue to dance. I, Dennis Muite, will never bow. I will never bow! Uh. We will see! Grandson. Daddy. Good day, sir. How are you, my wife? Oh, You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I can see Kenny hasn't gotten here yet. You know your brother is never on time. <laughs> Daddy, what about uh, mommy and I? They're inside. Okay, let me see them. Okay. You look very cute. I have to thank them. No, sir. Yes, mommy. Please come, let's go inside. Go where? Touch him and that will tell you whom the grandfather is. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> You're staying with me. <laughs> ah, don't get this. <laughs> Good day, my dear. I hope we're not late. <laughs> Nobody's complaining. <laughs> Good day, my dear. How are you? Champion, how are you? champion. How are you? Fine. So, how old are you now? I'm 11 years now. Daddy, yes, are you sure you can manage both of them at the same time? <laughs> because of these few grey hairs on my head, you people think I'm a weak old man. <laughs> 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 So, what do you feed this young man with? He's grown so tall. It's your balls he has, so why are you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, let's go inside and see grandma, okay? Yes, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Hey, I called the office, but the secretary said you're out. I had something to do on the airline. Okay. Mm. Where's the wife? Oh, she's inside. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> Watch me for one person to eat. It's chicken. It's white meat. It's harmless. Now, Ngozi, meat is meat. That amount of meat is not good for your health. Period. Oh. Thank you, doctors. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You people should help me talk to her. She doesn't take advice. With the way she's going, she will grow so fat. 
that no husband will marry her. Mm, <laughs> thank you, mommy. Thank you. But I have you know that some men actually need women they can hold. Not all those pack of bones you put call beautiful. Did you sure, baby. Me? Yes, honey. <laughs> Ngozi, nobody has said you should become skinny. <clears throat> Well, if you ask me personally, I think um, Aunt Gloria here is too thin for her age. Sure. And huh? how fat do you think I should be at my age? Answer her. I don't know exactly, but I think you're just too thin. <laughs> Your brother is not complaining. Yes, I am not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> you see how trim I am at my age, Ngozi? Yeah. It's because of eating right. And I still have more years of fight Daddy, left in me. Yes. Daddy, did you just say few more years when we all know you're going to live way past a hundred years? <laughs> <laughs> Century dad. Millennium daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about living, that reminds me of something I had wanted to discuss with all of you. My friend, Chief Madaikwe died two years ago. You all knew him. Yes. This morning, I heard that his family has ended up in court over his property. What? 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 That is true. Huh. That's a family where love does not exist. Yes. We started off loving one another. And I pray that that love and peace will continue. Amen. 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 Whatever I have made in this world and whatever I will leave behind will be in vain if you children will fight over it. God forbid. Let it not be heard anywhere in our family that my own children are fighting over possessions. God forbid. Possible. Nothing kills a family faster than strife. Um, Dad, what kind of advice is this? I mean, here we are, talking about you living well above a hundred. You're sounding as if you're going to die tomorrow. Oh. Uh, Ken, uh, I am not going to die tomorrow. I just have to mention this. Now that I have the opportunity of getting all of you together, we might not have this chance again of discussing as one family. <clears throat> The old man is actually beginning to think he is my two sister. What is that supposed to be? Oh, no, no, nothing. No, no, no. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, you're going to live long for all of us. Amen. Yeah. You know how mischievous you are. Operating from. I can help. No, no, no. I mean, you're a smooth operator.
Is he asleep? Yes. With all that playing and all the food inside him, he passed out like a lock. I've been thinking. About what? About what Dad said this evening. I think something is wrong somewhere. How do you mean? Well, you know what they say. When old men start talking like that, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, are you not funny? What's funny? If you're thinking of dying, Daddy is as strong as a mule. I won't be surprised if he makes another 30. And besides, people like your father, they don't die easily. What you were just giving was a piece of advice, and I think we all needed it. I know he's planning on handing the companies to three of you. But your brother Kenny might not exactly get the ones he has his eyes on. The old man has a right to give whichever company to whoever he wants. I'm not particular about such things. I know, darling. I hope your brother understands it when it happens. Ekene can be funny at times. Yes. Ekene can be funny at times. But not up to the point of going against the old man's wishes. Definitely not. Thank you. You don't have to worry, okay? We won't be planning any burial. So, come on, darling. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. Honey, what are you doing? I said, what are you doing? Putting some things down. What things? I thought you promised never to bring work home any longer. But, uh, this is not work. you should be making a list of all your father's properties. Yes. You see, I know the time has come for the companies to be shared. And I don't want us to be cheated. Neither do I want us to miss out on anything that should have been ours. We are not going to miss out on anything. I am the first son. When one doesn't know what is being shared, how then does he know if he's receiving a fair share or not? Think about it. And when you're done, join me in bed.
Yes, come in. Ah, Fred, you are here. Thank God for those things called lips. Eh? I wonder how one will expect me to come right up to this place, walk in it. <laughs> eh? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how many times I will invite you to the club to play squash before you turn up. You are grossly rusted away. And I assure you, my friend, you are a very good candidate for heart attack. <laughs> Something must kill a man one day. And if in my own case it's going to be a heart attack, why should I fret? <laughs> eh? It's better than dying in a car accident or in the hands of terrorists. Just make sure you have sufficient money for your family. <laughs> You can be sure I have stolen more than my fair share from men like you. Mm. Eh? And should anything happen to me now, I assure you my family will not like you. Okay. Yes. If you say so. Now, what do you have for me? Oh, yes. Um, let's see. The investment is a very large one. And Obi, it's time you draw up your way. Fred, don't worry your lawyer head. I am not about to drop that now. <laughs> there are more to be added to this. Besides, if anything happens to me now, I am proud to say that I have the most loving and united family on earth. My children will handle their affairs. <laughs> Fred. Yes. I am starving. There is more for us to discuss on lunch. Please. If I tell you I'm happy about how you are suddenly sounding, I'll be lying to you. And how am I sounding? Well, um, you sound almost as if something was about to happen. Something has already happened. The family business is expanding. The new oil company will soon be operational. And I need the two boys to get involved. I can't be building an empire and my two sons are doing something else. If I die today, who will teach them the ropes? Whom will I leave things for? It's all right. It's all right, honey. Everything will be all right. I'm sure they will learn. You see, I speak the way I speak. Not because anything will happen. Neither do I have plans of retiring yet. It's just because the time has come for the family to start bonding back together. Ngozi is still young and yet to come out of school. Otherwise, I could have concentrated on her instead of the two boys. Don't worry. Your husband still has a long time to live with you, okay? You better do. Eat your food. Hi, Michael. Mm. How are you? I'm fine. Good day. How was your day? Not too bad. Ooh, I am so hot. Ooh. So, where are you coming from? Ah, school, Dad. And from there, I accompanied um, Ijama to the market to get some fabrics. Ngazi, sit down. Part of the reasons I wanted to see you. Two years, my dear. Two years to the end of your curse. I've been waiting. You still haven't told me what you want to do with your life. Dad, 
I have a lot of time. How much time? The way things are won't do. You can't keep going around visiting people and those you know. Huh? You have to start thinking about settling down and doing something positive with your life. Now, I have decided that after the lectures each day, you have to come down here and work with me for some hours. Dad, if I start working here, I'll be under so much scrutiny and that's no fun. And you don't want that? Young lady, if you don't want to get scrutinized, how do you hope to grow? We are thinking about how to get you something doing and you settling down. Dad! Ngozi, I am an old man. Even if I refuse to admit it, I don't have as much time as I would have wished. You're beginning to sound like mom. I mean, my teens. I can't start thinking of getting married now. But then, I would want to carry your children before I go to rest. You have a lot of time, Dad. I assure you, you'll carry them. I pray so. <laughs> Dad. What is it? Empty, Dad. My account is in the red. Young lady, the rate at which you spend money is quite alarming. You've got to learn how to be more prudent, okay? Thanks, Dad. Manage it well, because you are not going to get anything till the end of the month. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> allowed both of you to do whatever it is you wanted with your lives and I thank God you both have made success of your lives but I think it is time you started thinking about taking a keener interest in my business things are expanding and my bones are getting tired I need you to look in with a view of Helping me organize things. Dad, you're already highly organized. You don't need us to come in disorganize what you have already organized. If you are not getting familiar with the way all the operations are run in the company, how do you hope to take over when I'm gone? You are the ones I will hand over to. Dad, please, stop being fatalistic and talking about this when you're gone, when you're gone there. We must talk about it. We must face up with the inevitability of death when it comes. Anyway, that is by the way. What I wanted to tell you about is that I've invested heavily into an oil exploration company. And I believe things will work out well with our business being pushed up to new levels. Ekene, Jamike, I need your hands. I would like you to think about it and tell me what you think. Dad, are you trying to employ us? <laughs> <laughs> are you laughing over it? Ekene, Jamike, you are the ones I will hand over to. Plead that all hands must be on deck. We're sorry, Dad. Yes, sir, 
give me my money. I said, yes, sir, I want. Give me my money. Come and give me my bag before I give you your money. Come and bring out my bag. Give me my money. Give me yes, sir. Give me my money. I will give you. Now take this and go and build your own house. Give, give me, me my money. You. Give, give me my you. money. Give me a reason. Man. That's why I don't like coming to this town because all of you are nothing but thieves. Niori, that is Thieves. That's what all of you are. Now who did that? What brings the cricket out of its hole? It is trouble. Whatever trouble it is, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Let's sit down. Thank you. I don't think you will be home yet. I, I just came in. These days I try to take time to ease off work. Okay. At our age, we shouldn't be working so hard. You're correct. You're correct. Tina! Tina! Sir! Hey, uh. ah, cool. Alright, how are you? Fine, sir. Take on Cruz's bag and put in the guest room. Run some water for him to take his bath. Then prepare something for us to eat. Okay, sir. What of Mama Ngozi? Is she not at home? No. She has got to see her friend. Mm. Obi, I can see you have added to this house. Eh? Hey. Hey. You people are living good. Unlike us in the village. Eh? Poverty is using our lips to scrub the earth. <laughs> eh? Hey. Brother Dennis. It is the same thing everywhere. Hey. Honestly, it is the same everywhere. Mm. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh. Uh, so, what of uh, Mamo Kechuku? That's the reason why I came home. Hunger is trying to kill us. But I came to see if there is something you can do for us. Eh? I take this. Uh. You are just coming. You need to eat. Relax. Then we shall talk. Mm. Okay. Maybe you say so. Okay. Maybe you say so. Uh. 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 Slow down on that. It is stronger than pure rum. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. <laughs> huh? If you get this type in the village, nobody will bother about you in state. <laughs> <laughs> it will kill all the jams in the mouth. <laughs> uh, hey. What I'm saying is that you don't take too much of it. Otherwise, you wake up tomorrow to see your head as big as Mamu Bioma's boot <laughs> That's your business partner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still doing business with that? Uh, well, what's in the while? <laughs> <laughs> you said you needed some money. Uh, yes. Uh, any problem? Uh, no. I've been thinking about it. You see, every time you come to Lagos asking for money, no matter how small, I feel embarrassed writing out checks every time. Are you saying there is nothing I can go back with? No, 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 no. Don't misunderstand me. 
Uh, what I am going to do is to put together a substantial amount of money. I will hand it over to you by the end of the month. You can start a business with it. That way you will stop coming to Lagos every time. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Uh, but before the end of the month, I am Mamokuch, we shall be eating some. <laughs> yes. Uh, There's no problem. You said you were leaving tomorrow. Uh, as long as you can give me something to hold on to. Okay. I will arrange for something this evening. Okay, this evening? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is wine. Beautiful. <laughs> Chief, Fred. Oh, there you are. What's wrong? What's the problem? Have you seen today's newspapers? No, please. What is it? There is a report that the Akampa oil well is dry. Against all speculations, there is no oil in it. Chief, this means all the money, all the investment gone. Chief, we have lost everything. Chief, I'm sorry, I tried to make all the contacts I could to see whether Chief! Chief! Chief, don't do this. Chief! Chief! Secretary! 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 You are not at work. I was, but um, I decided to come and see you. Ah. Is there any problem? How can we get across to your sons? I need them here. Have you called Obi? Something has happened to my daughter, I know it. What has happened to her? Tell me, Fred, please. Nothing has happened to your daughter. In fact, I wanted to go through her school to pick her up. But on second thought, I decided to, first of all, inform you, Ekede and Jamike. Inform us about what? <coughs> Come on, Fred, stop talking in riddles and tell me whatever it is. I would rather wait for the boys to be here. Please call them. No. We are not calling anybody until you tell me what is happening here. What is it, Fred? I'm waiting. Talk to me, Fred. Chief is dead. What did you say? Oh, God. He had a heart attack this what? morning. It's long. And before we got him to the hospital, he was dead. When? Why? Oh God. I went across to his office this morning 
to discuss the issue of the oil well that had got dried. He couldn't take it. He gave up. Just like that. Just like that. Fred, just like that. Just like that and don't be died. Oh no. Oh God. Oh me. Oh me. Oh. No. Hi, Uncle Fred. No. Hi, Mom. No. Uncle Fred, what's the problem? Oh me. about the morning when you're wearing long faces. What brings you to the village early this morning? Eh? Eh, Kenne? Jamika, what happened? Eh? What is it? Eh? It's huh? Papa. Now, what's wrong with your father that you left Lagos and came this morning? Eh? The Papa is dead. Hey! Did I hear you right? No. What did you say? Huh? Our father is dead. Obi! Oh! He's dead! He died yesterday morning. Hey! Obi is dead! Daddy! What are you? It's one more! Jamika! Okay. Are you going to move on? Are you going to move on? 
move on. Uh, let me go and inform the elders. Hey. Hey. This cannot be true. This hey. cannot be happening. Hey. Eh? Hey. Hey. But you'll be promised to give me a big amount of money by the end of this month. Eh? This cannot be happening. Is that true? Well, like I told your mother, it's a little more complicated than that. So many assets, including this house, were mortgaged in order to raise funds to finance the buyout of the oil well from Konoko Corporation. And when we found out that that well was dry, your father could not take it. He slumped and died. The question now is this, how do we pay up the bills? So Uncle Fred, what do you want us to do? Nothing as a matter of fact, except that we have to start from where your father stopped. We have to make those investments pay. I am relying on both of you because there's very little I can do on my own. Uncle Fred. Yes? I don't think this is the right time to start talking about what to do with the company. We still have the barrier to put together. Ekene is right. That's the most important thing to do. The businesses can be sorted out later. Good. Good enough both of you are thinking and talking the same way. There are provisions in your father's will that can be activated immediately, especially the money he set aside for his own burial. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uncle Fred. Yeah. By the grace of God, we have both made something out of our lives. It is our duty as our father's sons to bury our father with our own money. We don't have to use his money to bury him. Without sounding immodest, we have more than enough. I think I agree with you. There's one more thing. Your father left instructions that his will should not be executed unless both of you are in perfect agreement with his provisions. So, as soon as the burial is over, I'm going to make available to you copies of that will for your perusal. We start from there. That's all right. Okay. Thank you, Uncle Fred. Right. Well, thank you very much. I'll be seeing you. Strange thing though, the old man left money for his burial as if he knew he was going to die. Well, that's a piece of good news. How? I mean, it just takes away the strain that would have been on our pockets if we were to bear the burial cost. Why do you talk like that? Do you expect me to use my father's money to bury him? What have I made all this money for? And I'm sure that that stupid suggestion must have come from your brother. And when the time comes for him to bring money out, he won't bring out a cobble. I will have you know that nobody made any such suggestions. 
as the first son of the family, it is my responsibility to bury my father. Even if it will cost my last couple, I will do it. <laughs> and you expect me to applaud you on that noble speech, Mr. Eloquent? I mean, your father left money for his burial. I don't see why you don't want to use it. For God's sakes, why are you so intent on wasting the scarce funds that we have in this house? Woman, would you sub my food and stop jabbering about what you don't understand? Oh. Hi, darling. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Thank you. Dad, you're welcome. Mansa, how are you? Fine. What a tiring day. How are the arrangements going? Well, smoothly so far. What about my man and Gazi? They're fine. Mama is a strong woman. They are. And they were so attached to each other. Yes, they were. But... You people have not started discussing about the will yet. No. That will have to wait until the burial is over. I don't think that is good enough. Everything that needs to be sorted out should be sorted out now. The longer you wait, the more troublesome things might be later on. Gloria, father just died. The most important thing is to give him a befitting burial. Besides, Ekena and I are responsible men. Why should there be any problem over father's will? Whatever father left behind, we should be able to handle without any problem. If you say so, I feel you should let your brother know your stance on issues. I've had a tiring day. I don't think this is the right time to discuss such things. All I want to do now is to take my bath and fall into bed. What is important is that we have given him the type of burial he rightly deserved. You have done what sons are supposed to do. And I'm sure the entire village will be proud of you. But um, your father's business must continue running. And that's why we have the next challenge. And I expect you to live up to that challenge. Thank you, Dave Dennis. Both Ekena and I have no intentions of allowing our father's businesses to die. As far as you start working on that right away, uh, your mother tells me that there are problems with the banks. Something that we can't handle. Uh, okay, if you say so. I don't think there is much for us to continue talking about. Uh, let me get back to the house. Uh, Mama Okachuku has not been feeling fine since the burial. Uh, I can uh, give me a leg. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. Please say us well to the market. Okay. Um, I can The dead are dead and have been buried. It is time now for you and your brother to start the process of living once again. But you must be very careful because I don't like the look I see in your brother's eyes. You are the firstborn, and you should get what you rightly deserve. Dear Dennis, don't worry. Jamike and I have a perfect understanding of one another. We shall both get what is coming to us. Uh, I am not doubting that. Uh, all I'm concerned about is having peace in the family. 
If your brother rises against you tomorrow, he should be put where he belongs. <laughs> yes. That kind of situation will not arise. I am saying this because from what I've seen, your brother is more assertive than you are. I am somebody who sees the truth and speaks it out. If you need somebody to speak for you, just let me know. I am somebody who don't, I, I cannot see injustice and allow it to go. <laughs> the, the, this, nobody is doing anybody injustice. My father left specific instructions on how things should be handled. And that is the way they are going to be handled. Ah. Okay, if you say so. Uh, let me start going home and uh, find them something to eat. Uh, because um, Honga must have rubbed their faces on the mud by now. <laughs> I was even going to Ikena to borrow some money. Uh, if he has any, if he has any. Hey, Dennis, <laughs> with all the wealth in the family, how can you be talking about borrowing money from anybody? Hmm? <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> See what this can uh, get you. Hey. I will get you more money later. I shouldn't have taken this from you. Because you have spent so much burying your father. If I didn't have, I wouldn't give. <laughs> Thank you, my son. Uh, that's why I always pray for you. Uh, you are not like your brother. That one. Hm. He does not believe anybody should survive except his wife and son. <laughs> you know you are the father we know now. Uh, okay, mm. okay, thank you. Uh, let me be going. Okay. Mm? Mm. Tell Auntie I'll come over in the evening to see her and the kids. Uh, I will. Eh? Mm. Okay. 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 Dry. Why are you pushing them off the line? So what am I supposed to do? Eh? Wait for your son's clothes to dry before I hang up my son's own. Eh? Did you string any line here? Better we are not quarreling. But pushing the clothes off the line is not good now. But any better there are other free lines. You can spread. Eh eh! Tatafo. If she knew there were other free lines, why didn't she hang up her son's clothes on them? Come, both of you should leave me alone. It's not your fault now, is it? It's because I came to stay in the village with you people. Nonsense. What is going on here? Mama, it's Aunt Betta. She's quarreling with Aunt Gloria over where to spread her clothes. Ah. When there are so many empty lines here. Oh. Betta, what is the matter? Gloria, Mama, did you say anything to her? Mama, she is the one that knows what is eating her. Honestly, I did not say anything to her. It's all right. Please, spread out your son's clothes over there. There are so many empty lines here. Even this one? Yes, this one here, everywhere. There are so many empty lines. You can spread out your son's clothes there. Be cool.
Ngozi. You've seen better in this house. Oh my God. I won't tolerate it from her any longer. Your family. Oh, we are fine. Oh. Uh, I have not seen you people since the burial. Okay. I've come to see how you are coping before going back to the city. Hey. Thank you very much. Oh. God bless you. Oh. It's not everybody in this village who has thought for the next person. <laughs> oh, good boy. How are you? Yes. <laughs> and this not the boys I saw a week ago. Yes, they are the same ones. Hi. Grandma, want to go and play football? Okay, go and enjoy yourself. What have they been eating? They are growing like yam shoots. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> uh, nature is wonderful. As something is dying, something is growing. That's how God made life. Oh. So, what should I offer you? No, don't worry. I have been going around the village since today and i've had more than enough to eat and drink <laughs> look i think somebody has a grand plan to make me develop pot belly in my old age <laughs> 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 oh, <good times>. uh, <laughs> now when did you say you people are going back to lagos uh, my sons and their wives will be going by this weekend mm. yes they have their businesses to run. Of course, of course. Ngozi and I will wait a little longer. Mm -hmm. We still have too much cleaning to do and pack up. I thought Ngozi was still at school. Wouldn't waiting disturb her studies? Yes, it would. But what can I do? Uh, Tina and I cannot handle this. And I can't possibly ask my son's wife to wait behind and help me do it. Mm. They have their children to take care of. And those ones are still in school too. Hmm, that is true, that is true. Well, <clears throat> I think what will happen is this. I will send my wife across and she will help out with the job. Oh, thank you very much. No, it's all right. That is very thoughtful of you. No, no, it's okay. Though, Dennis's wife has been helping out. Oh, that is good. Yes. That is good. That is very good. Well, I must be going. Okay. I, I don't I don't like staying out late these days. It's all right, but do you say I shouldn't have, find something to eat at least? Oh, well, unless uh, you want to carry my stomach on a truck back to my house, then I will wait and eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be taking my family back tomorrow. My wife has to resume work on Monday, and my son, Nanso, also has to go back to school. Hmm, you people have done very well. 
Um, nobody will say you have not tried. <laughs> he was a good father. Which is why both of you should do everything possible to make sure the things he left behind are taken good care of. They will be, Day Dennis. They will be. Okay. Have no fear of that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I don't know how buoyant you are. I don't have much money left to me. Please, Day, hold on to this. Ah. When I get back to Lagos, I'll send you more money. Jamike, you shouldn't have bothered, eh? You have too much burden on you already. Day, huh? our elders say that the leg the elephant places on his child's back will never break that back. True word, my son. God bless you. <laughs> um, Jamike. I know you're in a hurry to go, but before you do, I want to ask you a question. Go ahead, Dave. How are you handling your brother? Handling? I don't understand. Okay. Your father has been buried, and I'm aware of the things he left behind for you people. I'm also aware that the heart of man is dangerous. <laughs> Dave. If you're talking about how to share the things that father left, we've not started thinking about it yet. <laughs> no, we've not. Yamike, <laughs> don't make a mistake. You might not be aware, but I'm sure your brother is thinking about that. No, I'm not saying he's thinking anything bad. God forbid. All I want is for my brother's children to live in peace. That's all. Don't worry, Day. Ekena and I will never allow our father's properties and money tear this family apart. And that wasn't how our father brought us up. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Okay. If you say so. And as you go. A safe journey. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. God bless you too. Uh, Day, please, uh, please. please tell Mamo okay that we've gone. And that um, I'll see her in a few weeks' time when I come back. Okay, I'll do. Thank you, Day. Most of the physical assets were mortgaged to raise funds for the oil project. So I'm pretty sure that some of these assets will be lost. But we still have this. Directorship and majority shareholding in several companies. About 350 million Naira in liquid assets, including stocks and bonds. That shouldn't pose any problem whatsoever. I agree with you. The only slight difficulty which we must overcome is this. Your father left instructions before his death that unless both of you agree with the provisions of this will, nothing should be shared. How many companies are there in all? Six. And we need to fill up the vacant seats on the boards of those companies as soon as possible. This is what we shall do. I'll take the briefs back, study them. Then I'll take four companies I would like to sit on the board. Then Jamike will take the other two. Okay, what did you say? You heard me. Maybe I didn't hear you right. But I happen to think that whatever father left should be shared right down the middle. And I happen to think that this is what father would have wanted. 
And because of it, all of us should go and start begging on the streets. Tell me, you don't be ridiculous. You have made more than enough for yourself and your family. Must we argue about this? I, I don't believe this. I don't believe... Again, are you really serious about this thing? Dead serious. Have you given any thought to Mama Ngozi? Have you? Ngozi is not inheriting anything yet. She's just a girl in school. Maybe when she leaves, we will find what we can do for her. Mama cannot sit on the board of any of the companies. Whatever their needs are, we will service it from the 350 million naira. Which, fortunately, you won't have any access to until I say so. Jamike, are you going to be difficult about this? Yes, until you become reasonable. Why would you want to grab everything to yourself all of a sudden? Why? Why do you feel I have to grab everything? Look at what you're saying! No, 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 I no, no, have no, 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 What do you want to watch? both of you? I want cool-headedness in this matter. Again, Jamike, sit down, both of you! Sit down, I said! This is only the preliminary stage. And we are not going to go beyond the stage until a Gene becomes reasonable and removes greed from his heart. Greed or whatever you call it. All I am doing is for the good of the family. For the good of the family, my fault! You want to take everything for yourself and you say it's for the good of the family. Thank God Father's instructions were very, very specific. Unless you're ready to share everything down the middle, nobody touches anything. Thank you! Uncle oh, Fred? Did you hear that? Then Dennis told me this was going to happen. I thought it was a joke. Back up! You know, they Dennis warned me about this. But I told him that nothing would make my brother Ken and I quarrel over father's properties. Just look at it now. Did I not warn you? I told you this was going to happen. But you refused to listen to me. I suppose my mouth was thinking then. Even if he had said he wanted a greater chunk of the money, I wouldn't have minded. What Ekene was most interested in is in taking four out of the six companies. He wasn't even thinking about how to get back the things that dad mortgaged to start up the oil company. Or Mama and Gazi, who would soon lose that house if we don't do something about it very fast. And don't tell me that for the sake of peace. You will sit back and allow yourself to be cheated. That can never happen in this house. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Gloria. Come. Come on, come. <laughs> My brother and I just had a little disagreement. It hasn't gotten up to the point of who is getting cheated. Hmm? But that is what is about to happen. He wants to take four of the companies. And I'm sure when it comes to sharing money, he takes the greater chunk. <laughs> okay, um, come. Come. Sit down. <clears throat> Don't worry. That won't happen. I am in control. Positive. Um, Darling. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> over my dead body. Did you hear me? I said over my dead body. If what your brother wants to do is grab all that your father left behind. Okay then. Tell him that I said it will be over my dead body. You better take it easy. I have already told in my mind and nothing will change that. I have already made up my mind 
to deal with this issue before this meeting. Of course, then Dennis told me what he was planning. Eh. I am the firstborn of the family. And by customs, I have a right to share those properties and monies the way I want. You keep saying that I should take it easy. Meanwhile, there is a grand plan by your brother to steal us blind. Better sit down. Better sit down. You can only take from a child who does not know what his rights are. It is only what I give to Jamie Gay that he inherits. And nothing changes that. The only thing that is a bit worrisome is that Father left specific instructions that unless both of us agree on this issue, nothing should be shared. <laughs> and you think you can get him to agree with you on this? That is where I am facing a dilemma now. What is the dilemma in it? Eh? If he doesn't want to accept what you have said, then you go and talk to the lawyer. Or is he averse to making some good money for himself? What did you just say? You heard me right. Everybody wants to make much more money than he's already making. Offer him what he needs, and he will swing over to your side. Simple. Forget to buy the necessary spices and don't let them cheat you, okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Don't forget to buy the chicken, okay? I won't forget. Hurry up, the driver is already waiting for you. Hey. Hi, Mom. Ingo. Hey, Tommy. You're back. Welcome. Thank you. Woo. Mom. Yes. Lagos is a hard place. How was your day? Hectic with a capital H. Tell me. Um, Mom, have you seen Brother Jamike or Ekene since yesterday? No. Why do you ask? I think you should see them. Why? I don't know what the problem is exactly, but I know something is wrong somewhere. I passed by Brother Jamike's office and he wasn't sounding too happy towards Brother Ekene. I asked and he refused to tell me what the problem is. So, I think you should call the both of them and find out what is exactly wrong. But whatever it is, it's serious. Serious? You cannot jam again. <laughs> Mom, I'm starving. Is there anything in the house for me to eat? Uh, find yourself something to eat in the kitchen. Thanks, Mom! <laughs> called from the office and said that he will drop in on Uncle Fred. Um, he should be on his way back. Becca. Ma, what is the matter between your husband and his brother? Matter, Ma? Between Ekene and Jamike? Yes. I wasn't aware that anything happened between them. He didn't tell you anything. Tell me. No, Mama. Ma, you know your son now. Does I can I tell anybody anything? Welcome, darling. How are you? 
Uh -uh. Mama? I didn't know you were here. Excuse me. I am. You're welcome. When did you come? A few minutes ago. You're not looking bright. What about Ngozi? She's the reason why I'm here. What happened? She came back this afternoon and said she went to Jamike's office on her way back from school. She says there's something wrong between you and your brother. Did you have a quarrel? Again, I'm waiting. What happened? Uh, Mama, nothing serious. We just had a minor disagreement over what Elia said about dad's properties, that's all. You had a quarrel with your brother over your father's property? Mama, Jamike is greedy and big-headed. If he continues this way, it will not help this family. Can I... Mama, look at it. Let me look at it. I am the first man of this family. And by customs, I alone should decide what happens to that assets and properties. And how they should be shared. If he doesn't respect that, somebody should call him to order. Better! I can... Better! I can... Take my food. He accused me of being greedy. Mama, maybe you should judge who between us is greedy. There are six companies, and Ekene wants to sit on the board of four of them. I told him that he wasn't fair, and that he should consider you and Gazi. And now Ekene turns around to say, I am greedy and stubborn. Mama, that house you're staying in was mortgaged by Papa to finance the oil company that failed. Nobody's talking about how to get that back. Instead, what Ekene is most interested in is on how many boards are sits on, Mama. How many boards are sits on? Your father warned against this. Huh? Why are you people allowing it happen? Mama, huh? thank God. Thank God that Papa left the provision. He said that until both of us agree, nothing should be shared out. And that's how it's going to be until Ekene comes to his senses. Mama, I will fight this thing with the last drop of my blood. Okay. How can you and Ekene allow things to degenerate to this level? Ekene, Mama, not I. Ekene! Ekene is your senior. Mm -hmm. So for the love of God, if what he wants is to sit on four of the company boards, why don't you Leave it for him, so that we can have some peace in this family. People, please. Thank you, Mama. If what Ekene has done is to send you here to convince me, tell him that he has failed. Nobody is sharing anything unless everything will be shared equitably. Excuse me. Mama, I think Jamike is right. What matters is not who gets how many of the companies, but what will happen in the future. If a Kenneth takes four of the companies, who is to say that he will not take the rest later? Yes. And the matter was very urgent? Matters of business should not be delayed longer than necessary. So what is the problem? It is this issue about who gets what of father's assets. And liabilities too. 
Uncle Fred, the things that I wrote down does not need to apply any longer. I am not very interested in agreeing on any terms with my younger brother since he has decided to be unreasonable. Hmm. This leaves us with no choice. If both of you cannot agree, then what your father left cannot be shared. Simple. Uncle Frank, that father said so does not mean things cannot be turned around. Listen, I'll make you an offer. If we continue the way we're going, none of us will benefit. Not you, not me, not Jamie again. I'll make you an offer of 10% of 350 million naira and still keep your retainership if you swing things my way. Are you trying to bribe me? No, 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 no. I'm only trying to make sense. All of us need money. Think about what you can do with 10% of 350 million dollars. Listen to me, my dear young man. I worked towards and for your father for 34 good years. I have never accepted Brian. And I'm not prepared to accept it from anybody, least of all you. If this is what you've come down to tell me in the office, that is the door, leave my office this moment. I'm a very busy man. I see. My younger brother has gotten to you before me. Huh? I will have you know that nothing can be shared unless I say so. And if you try anything, Uncle Fred, I will show you and whatever you have in your goddamn life. Bagger. The cheek of it. Pleasure you dropped in, Mr. Peter. Thank you very much, sir. Just make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Yeah. So, tea or coffee? Uh, nothing, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, what can I do? Well, uh, thank you very much. I just want to find out details concerning my father's place on the board of directors. What, what details? Well, somebody has to take his place on the board. Well, as at this moment, we've not received instructions from his lawyer. Do you need any instruction from his lawyer? I'm his son. As of right, his children should sit in his place on the board. We know that, Mr. Obi. But the question is, which of his children? You see, your father must have left specific instructions. And that's what we're waiting for. When the estate is sorted out, we can convene a board meeting and the right person will sit on the board. Apart from that, there is nothing we can do from this end. Neither can we just hand over your father's place to you. That will negate every due process of legal practice. Uh, are you saying there is nothing you can do? Come on, you are an educated man, my dear. You, you can't come through the back door and expect to sit on the board. It's not possible. Let me sit first. I'm busy right now. Anyway, it's um, nothing serious. It's just that I need some money for my handouts and uh, some other things for my exams, which will be starting on Monday. And you think I'm the right person to ask? But I can't ask, Mama. See, it's you and Brad Jamie said at this quarrel. Money hasn't been coming into the family. The only money mommy has on her is the one for food, which will soon be, uh, be exhausted. Why don't you go to Jamaica and ask? I thought I should ask you first. You have made a mistake then. 
You have come here to find out what next to go and tell Jamie Khan, Mama, eh? If you need money, go to him. Since you people are not supporting him, let him fund you. No, brother, I, I don't understand. I, I, I didn't tell mommy anything. The only thing I told her was that you, you had a quarrel with brother Jamiki, that's all. And that was enough for her to come to my house and tell me all kinds of nonsense. Am I to be blamed for that? Now you listen. Go to Jamiki and let him give you money. It's either you're for me or you're against me. You will not get a cover from me until you decide on whose side you are. What is all this? Why are you people doing this? What are you fighting for? If both of you don't stop this quarrel, you will tear this from me apart! <laughs> What happened? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the engineer's office. You too? Oh. So you've joined them, eh? Get out of my sight! Get out! 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 I left for Brother Jamie K's office. 
Ay, ben de seni. Ben de seni, mami. Hiç fark etmiyor musun bu tür bırakını? Mami, ben de seni sevmek. Mami, ben de seni sevmek. A belief brought it yesterday. That is a notice to move out of here. And that is why I called both of you. We are about to lose this house if nothing is done. And all you are interested in is bickering over who sits on which company board. <coughs> If you have not been supporting Jamie King and his greed, all this will not be happening. What did you say? Huh? What did you just say? You called me greedy? Of course, that's what you are. You are the one who wants to take everything for yourself. And you then call me greedy? You open your mouth and call me greedy? You are greedy. And if you don't want to accept the fact that I am the firstborn, and that traditionally I reserve the right to share those properties the way I want, then you can go to hell. Okay, if you try and touch any of those companies, I will deal with you and spoil it too. Mama, did you hear that? No, did you hear that? Will you just stop this? Stop this! Oh, God. I 
You don't deserve to be called his son. And nobody discusses this issue any longer. Whatever I say stands, and that's how it is going to be. Anything to eat? I'm hungry. Yet, I wanted to talk to you first. What about? I want you to withdraw Nonso from that school. Withdraw Nonso? Yes. Why? I will not have him in the same school with your brother's son. It is risky to expose my son to those people who do not think good of us. I want him removed from that school immediately. Excuse me. Gloria, go! I told you it will happen. I knew it wouldn't take long before oil spreads to the surface of the water. I looked at your brother and I saw the greed coming out on the surface very soon. How long now since your father died? How long? Day. Look at all that has happened. My man goes there in the village simply because we, we cannot secure enough money to take care of them. Meanwhile, Day, it's not as if the money is not there. No! It's only because Ekene has just refused to allow anybody access to it. That's the problem. That's just the problem. What are you doing about it? D, eh? what is there to do? What is there to do? Papa's instructions are specific. That unless both of us agree, nobody should touch anything. Nothing should be shared. And his lawyer is very strict about this instruction. And you think Ekene will just sit down there, hands folded, and watch you agree with him? Well, eh? Don't you think that he is colluding with his lawyer? Where does he get the money he wants to start building a house with? What? Yes! Ekene? Ekene? Planning to build a house? Ekene? Ekene came down here yesterday after Okonkwo's burial and he showed me the building plans. Jesus Christ! I, I have been a fool! I I've been sitting down somewhere thinking I was in control. Jamike, Jamike, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Um, I warned you. De, de. I warned you. Uh. Here, hold on to this. Eh? Hold on to this. Eh? I, I'm coming. Hold on to this. Please, um, I have to go. Eh? I, I, I have to do something about this thing immediately. Okay, okay ne? No. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. No. Welcome. So you think you can go on pilfering money from what father left behind, eh? You think you can? What is this fool jabbering about? Ah, uh, both of you don't start doing this now, please. Uh, please. You think I do not know that you and Uncle Fred are colluding to take money and it's that money you want to use to start building your own house, eh? Listen, let me tell you something. I do not need to pay for what belongs to me. Whatever father has left rightfully belongs to me. So why should I steal it? If you're so frustrated you don't know what your problems are, go and find out. If you don't, I will deal with you. Uh, you, you, you can't do anything! You, you, you can't do anything! 
Jamike, if you press on with this issue any longer than this, it might cost your life. Now you get out of here, you bugger. My life! We shall see! We shall see! Now you get out of here! Nonsense! Bloody fool. Ekane, come back here. Ekane, 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 Jamike, 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 it's because of you I'm here. Sit down. I need to have a word with you. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. I've been speaking with your mother here. I wish your brother were here. I need to ask you both just one question. What are your mother and sister doing in the village? Dear Thomas, she's sitting beside you. Why don't you ask her? I have enough sense to know whom to ask. Maybe it's the way she wanted it. Or maybe you should ask her, Kenny. He is the one mother has chosen to be her son. They're joining hands to deprive me of my inheritance. And that is why both of you have decided that this woman and her daughter must suffer. Eh? Listen, Jamike, wherever your father is now, he must be hiding his face in shame at what is happening in his house. Eh? Look, both of you must try and settle this thing before you go back. Look at how you carelessly lost your father's house in Lagos. Davos, I don't have anything to settle with anybody. The whole issue is that everybody is side making him. What gives him the right to think he can wake up one morning and decide what happens at this family? If he's the first son, so what? Does that mean nobody else should leave? Ah! Look, my son, we can keep going around like the dung beetle and we can never get anywhere. Go and make peace with your brother. Make peace? Yes. Dave Thomas, did you say make peace? Just now I take Dennis's house. He cannot threaten to kill me. If I, if, if I continue to lay claims to father's properties and you sit down here and say I should make peace with him, I cannot threaten to kill you. Yes! Go and ask Dead Dead if you think I'm lying. If it's going to take the last drop of my blood, I'm going to seal this thing to the end. And unless Mama stands up for what is right and true, she'll remain in this condition. Uh, Alright, I'm going to report this to the Council of Elders. If they'll, if they'll have to force a Kenneth to see reason, then so be it. Brother Jamike has decided to bring my case with him before the Council of Elders. Mm -hmm. That is why I have come to see you. Our people say that it is better to start searching for a black goat before night falls. True word, my son. That is why I have come to see you. To ask for your support. This is for you. Chai. Do you mean all this is for me? Where this came from? This is just a little. If I win this case, I will show you the real meaning of surprise. I will knock down this here structure and give you a one-story building. Hi, Ekene. You will win. It is only a fool who sees a stream and goes to have his bath in a puddle. You will win, Ekene. Even if it's the last decision I'm going to take, yeah. you are going to win. Yeah. You have won. Ha! Oh, <laughs> <No. laughs> um, let me go and get this corner nut. I'm coming. Uh -huh.
and their mother? Dear Mama. She is the cause of most of the problems in that family. If she were not siding my brother Ikene, our family wouldn't have come to this. <laughs> so, what do you intend to do now? Well, I am bringing Ikene before the Council of Elders. He will be forced to agree to my terms. Father's property must and will be shared down the line. That is the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. Yes. Yes. Day. Eh? <clears throat> Day. I brought this little token to say thank you. Amikene, it's a sign of better things to come. Ha! I go now. I go now. This is the kind of thing your father used to do when he was with us. And now you've taken over. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. But there's this little thing I want you to do. You should not sit down and allow anybody cheat you out of what I, Amamu Nije, know belongs to you. Never. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. But, Dave. I am seriously counting on your support. My support? Yes, Dave. My support? Hey! In the morning, you have it. In the afternoon, you have it. At night, you have it. I do not. Nah. I'm not a chief yet today. You will one day be. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dave. 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 Instead of stepping into the issue and helping me settle it, he suddenly pours more fuel into the fire. Hmm. I don't know what his plans are. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but it is all for the good. I think Dennis has his eyes on all this. Oh. Oh, yes. Allowing this quarrel to continue is his way of causing so much division that nobody will stand in his way whenever he decides to stake his claim. I didn't think about it that way. <laughs> he is as cunning as a fat-headed tortoise. <laughs> ah, Thomas, what are you doing here at this time of the night? Um, I came to see your brother's sons, but uh, they are not in. Okay. Uh, they are not in. Uh, both of them. I haven't seen them all evening. Ah. Yes. Uh, it is dark already. I think I should go and wait for them. Okay. Uh. You mean there's no one else in the house? Ah, uh, Tina is in the house. Ah. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Be cautious of him. It doesn't mean well. I know. <laughs> okay. It's all right. Sir. Good, Good night. night sir. Sir. My greetings to your family. Thank you. Good mm -hmm. night. Yeah. Welcome, my son. Neo, sir. Welcome, Neo. Mm. How's your family? Well, everybody's managing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you like this. It's a uh, good wine. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> That's okay. Is that all right for you? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You like good. it? Good. <laughs> Very good. Mm. Um, <laughs> you know, your brother just left here now. Mm. What did he come to do? <laughs> he thinks he can walk in here and bribe me. Me, I'm Mamo Nije, known all over the five villages as a man of integrity. I cannot be bribed. Yes. I do not support any wrong cause. Mm -mm. You are the first son of your father. And unless you refuse, your birthright. 
your brother has no right to lay claim on anything. That is our tradition. I thank God that there are still men like you in this town. Thank you. I am very proud of you. Thank you. De, mm -hmm. this is for you. Do not look upon it as a bribe but as a token of my appreciation for your sense of honor, dignity, and integrity. Biko. No, my son. No. I can't. It is not right. In that case, allow me to judge what is right and what is wrong. De, take the money. I can only do it. If you insist. I insist. Thank you. There was. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, but let me tell you, I want to assure you that you have my support, not because of this money, no, but because you are the right person to inherit your father's property. Thank you, sir. Hmm? There was a... Yes. Ah! Can I let you go? There was you are your father's son. You know, I'm not the chief yet. You will one day. I will, I will, but let that day come. Jamik, I've heard you've taken the case to the Council of Elders. Yes, and they're going to meet next week. Listen, Father, it can have threatened to kill me. I will not sit by and watch my life being snuffed out by someone who thinks it's everybody's God. I will not! Jamiki, some words are words spoken in anger. And you should realize that your brother's words were spoken in anger. You're wrong, father. Those were not words spoken in anger. Neither are they a threat as he foolishly believes. They are a promise which I will fulfill if he continues to put his hands in my eyes again. Again, listen to yourself talk. You are talking about killing your own brother. Did I miss words about it? Did I miss words? You see what I'm talking about? Even if you do not want this yourself, just take a look at your mother and your sister. Your sister has been out of school now for more than six months. Your mother is a shadow of her former self. Oh. The day we buried your father, this family was a family filled with love. How can you allow all this love and care disappear because of few properties? How could you allow this noble family to become a laughing stock in this village? Um, <clears throat> with all due respect, Father, I don't see how that concerns you. Neither do I see how it's anybody's business. This is a family problem, and we've not told anybody that we cannot handle our own problems. And if you think you can handle it, why did you take it to the Council of Elders? Now, will you shut up before I man handle you? I will not shut up. Ekene, I will not shut up. What did you call me? You heard me right. You want to kill me, right? Go ahead and do that. Or haven't you done enough already? Haven't you? You've killed Mama and I. What is there remaining in us? Nothing. I met her in school. And I'm here in this village because of your greed and your foolishness. Look at Mama. Is this the woman you and I knew? Is she? What is happening to Mama has not started until she stands on the side of truth. And the side of truth is that your mother should say that you alone should inherit the properties your father left behind. <laughs> That's how a thief speaks. And this thing that calls himself my brother is nothing but a common thief. Jamika, if you Open your mouth again and talk to me like that. I will end this thing right here now. Ah, okay. Okay, eh? you are nothing but a coward. And cowards don't even have enough guts to open their mouths. You are a thief and a coward, a greedy thief. So what can you do? You call me a thief? Okay, I'm coming. I am waiting. Okay. I am waiting. Okay. Allow him! Let him come! You think I'm afraid of this thing? Look, try me! 
if they don't bury you the same place the buried father, then I am not trying to go. Try me! Better. I can I drop the knife. Let me. This is not the way I can I. Oh! Better. Mumba, drop the knife. Better. Let me come. I will come. Better. I will finish you. Let me kill you. Back up. Oh! I can't do that. Leave me. I can't do that. Leave me. Better. Oh! Don't let me go. Let me die. Wait. Wait. Stop. 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 Mama, Tina said you were calling me. Yes. I wanted to talk with both of you. You people saw what happened here yesterday morning between your husbands. I decided to call you and talk with you away from everybody else. If this thing continues, both of you are going to end up the way I am. Widows. It's in your hands. Both of you should talk to your husband. No, Mama! Gloria should go and talk to her husband. He should learn a little respect. After all, my husband is her husband's elder brother. And there shall be no peace in this house until he recognizes that fact. This is not about respect, my friend. This is about your husband not knowing where to draw a line between greed and thief. Whose husband is it? Your a husband is a thief. I said, your, your husband, husband, husband is a thief. thief. He's a thief. You want to take everything in the house. Everything in the house. Listen, Mama, leave me. Shut up. Listen, 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 can't you see beyond your noses? You saw what happened to me and your sister-in-law, Ngozi. Right now, somebody has been making inquiries about how to ask for a hand in marriage. What do I tell them? Where are the men in this house? Mama, if what you called me for is to discuss this thing, I don't have anything to say. Where my husband stands is where I stand. And for your information, there cannot be peace. I repeat, no peace in this house until Ekene gives up his selfish desires. <laughs> keep dreaming. Can you hear me? I said, keep dreaming of the day your husband will become board chairman and own his own 350 million naira. Yourself the dreamer. not come here to bat the breeze. We all have something to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is better if we go straight to deliberate on what has brought us here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is there to deliberate, elders? We all know that obese children have decided to kill themselves. Oh. What we are here for? is to make peace between them. Afuna, hey, mba. We are not here because Jamike said his brother threatened to kill him. No. We are here because of who will inherit our late brother's property. Mm -hmm. That's why we are here. <clears throat> My people, can the blind man show the one-eyed man the way to the stream? No. Can the lame man show those who have perfect feet how to tread on the ground? Mm. None of you here has the right to sit in judgment between the two souls of our brother. Eh? 
Is what it? nonsense are you talking? Eh? What do you mean? Yeah. That is the nonsense I'm talking. The money Jamike and the Kene gave me. Each one of them wanting me to support him in this case. And I'm sure that is the same thing he's done with each and every one of you here. Right. How can you collect money from them and come here to sit in judgment? How can you judge? And you are the right person to judge. Oh. Eh? How many times have I caught you sneaking into my late brother's house? Oh. Eh? Dennis. Oh. Dennis. Dennis. Oh. Dennis. Oh. Dennis. Somebody should ask this hypocrite what he goes to do in the house of the widow of my late brother. When responsible men have all gone to bed. Ask him. Dennis. Yes. Do you realize what just came out of your mouth? There are certain things that should be left hidden. But since you have used your finger to point to the eyes of every elder here, maybe we should expose everything so that this land will be cleansed. My people, I have caught Thomas several times sneaking into and out of the bedroom of the widow of my late brother. Yes. If he desires to remarry the widow of my late brother, whose death we are still mourning, let him adopt customary procedures instead of abominable tactics. Hey. So that is what you want to do. Let me, 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 let just said is true. If it is true, it is a grave abomination. Yes. <laughs> and something must be done immediately. Yes. Yes. But it is definitely not true. Yeah. It is not true. The only reason I go to uh, Chief Obi's house is to help in comforting her. Uh, comforter. You know that going into a woman who is still mourning her husband is a grave sacrilege. Yes, it is. Elders, <laughs> he has defied our land. Yes. He has defied our land. And the atonement for it, according to our customs and tradition, is that the woman involved should be sent out of this community. Yes. But this time around, the man involved should equally be sent out. Oh. Uh, your concubine must be sent away. Full stop. Before terrible things happen in this land. It will not you, you, you are out of your senses. Eh? Me? I say you are all out of your senses. Well, all well, of you. Well, 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 Thomas. Thomas. Can you see it? Hello. Can you see it? The truth has driven him away, but he cannot run away from the truth. Yes. He cannot. <laughs> Thomas! I was waiting for this opportunity, and it just so called. I drove me to one up, I knew that all along we were scheming to take over my brother's property. But let me tell you, if anybody should take that property, it will not be you. Not even the sons, but it will be me. Oh yes. I draw me to one up. So that's your game plan, eh? I draw me to one up, Thomas. Where is your mother? I said, where is your mother? She's upstairs.
How can we face people in this town when you go to sleep with them us? You are a disgrace. of sleeping with Dave Thomas. against Israel. You have said 
that no weapon shall against us will ever prosper. You have said that any tongue that rises up in judgment against us shall be condemned. Father, let the Savior rise for your children. Let the Savior rise and suffer for your children. Let the Savior rise and We have consulted our gods. We have found that, that all the allegations leveled against you are true. And that only propitiation for your iniquity is your exile from this town. Yes. The Castle of Elders has mandated us to inform you that you have to leave this land immediately before the anger of the gods is let loose on us all. Oh yes. Oh yes. You are not to spend an extra night in this house. You cannot defile my late brother's house and expect to enjoy the benefits he left behind. Thank you very much. I promise you, you will all live to regret this day. She is not to spend an extra night in this house. I am not. Did anything like that? <laughs> I feel so sorry for him. Why? God is my witness. He deserves everything that is happening to him. A man who is not ready to hold his privacy to himself must, must look for a newly widowed woman to ease himself on. Must be ready to suffer the rejection of the society. How are yes. you sure the accusations are true? Eh, if they are not true, why has he not said anything in, in his own defense? Besides, he came from the mouth of dead Dennis himself. Oh. We know the turtle. And we know the tortoise. <laughs> De Dennis is never a man to be believed. Uh, but he said what he saw with his Were you eyes. there with him? I was not Come, there. Come, let's go. Uh, you always talk what you don't know. Forget it. Uh. Uncle Fred, enough of all this nonsense. I demand that you convene a meeting and hand over my father's papers. I have a right to administer his estate the way I want. This is one year my father died. I must have access to those papers. I don't have the authority to alter your father's will. The only way you can make this happen is by you and your brother getting together, agreeing and then informing me. I don't give a hoot about what you and Jamie and his wishes are. I have come to tell you, I give you an ultimatum of one week to hand over those papers to me. Otherwise, I will take any action I deem necessary. It may interest young man to know that I don't enjoy keeping anything in trust for your family who does not understand the meaning of unity? You also have one week to decide what to do with this state. If you don't do that, I will hand that estate to the government. Enough of this nonsense. Okay. We'll see. Again, hey, listen to me. Make sure by the time you come back, you find your mother and your sister to be here as witnesses. If you fail to do that, I promise you, you and your brother will not inherit anything from your father. We shall see.
Look, will you people hurry up? Mommy, hurry up now. My darling, why are you getting impatient? Have you forgotten that I have to pick up some papers at the office first? But we still have a lot of time. Come on, let's go, let's go, come on. Don't you people think we should forget this thing and stay home? Not on your life! You know how long you've been promising to take us out? It's taking you up to 50 years to dress up! Uh -huh. I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Good. Where's your mom? I don't know. Dad. What's the matter? Can I ask you a question? Sure, you can. Why are you and Uncle Jamie fighting? Who told you that Uncle Jamie and I are quarreling? We do not visit them anymore. And when mommy comes to pick me from school, she does even allow me to talk to Nansu, let alone playing with him. Well, son, there are certain things you cannot understand yet. When you grow up, you will. Okay? Okay, then. Ta-da! Ready? Finally. Yes. Yeah. Can we go now? Of course. You're driving. No. Honey, let's go. Of your life. Kenneth, can't you hear your father? Yeah. Not so. You cannot mix with people who do not like you. Your father says you cannot mix with Kenneth. Not so. If you don't come back here right now, your mom and I are going to enter the car and go back home. When I told you to change schools for him, you refused. Now can you see the consequences? Now you listen here, son. This family and ours are not in talking terms. They are our enemies. You cannot mix with them. Did you hear that? But dad, why? That's Uncle Jamiki. How can they be our enemies? He's your brother. Who are you all fighting? I must go with Kenneth! Don't stop! Don't stop! You better talk to your son.
if this thing continues, both of you are going to end up the way I am. Widows. It's in your hands. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the children are right. So, what do we do? I don't know. But all I know is that things were a bit easier when everybody was at peace. Gloria, you can't imagine what we have been through with all this hating. You're right. And I think we should stop this thing. It's so sad that it took the children to make us realize this. Yes. You know what to do. Maybe we should talk to our husband. Hmm? Maybe. You should go and talk to my husband. While I go and talk to yours, okay? Alright. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. What? What do you want? Did you see what happened there just now? Those children have been suffering in silence for too long. What do you want? I think it's time we talked. Is that why he sent you? No. Nobody sent me. Are you out of your senses? We have decided to do it this way. You and your brother should start reasoning. Then get away from here. Break me. Please. Just think about the pains you've caused to that woman you call mother. And the pains because your sister has been passing through because of your stubbornness. Break me. If mama drops dead tomorrow, do you think you can ever forgive yourself? break and I think about it. I said I don't want to have anything to do with that greedy son of a bitch who calls himself your husband. Maybe. Just maybe he's greedy. But he's still your brother. And if he is a son of a bitch, he's your mother's son. Look, if both of you want to continue in this enmity, it is your business. As for Gloria, the kids and myself, we have decided to put this behind us. All right? Excuse me. Let it not be heard anywhere in our family that my own children are fighting over possessions. Impossible. Nothing kills a family faster than strife.
Well. Well. You can have the four companies if you want them. And you're the senior anyway. No. We have an equal right of whatever father left behind. We shall divide everything down the line. That's the right thing to do. We've been... We've been so stupid. Get a bagger. If you look up there, it extends beyond that abaca tree. That abaca tree up there. And then goes round to the edge of the stream inside there. Okay, okay. you mean yeah. the Agulu stream? Agulu stream, you're correct. Okay. <laughs> so how much do you say you need for the piece of land? Uh, 50,000 Naira. And the whole land will be yours. Okay. <laughs> 50,000 Naira. <laughs> it's no problem. No problem. Uh, but I think I will need to see the documents. Documents? Uh, that won't be necessary. Uh, prepare anything and I will sign. You know, <laughs> because uh, those of you who went to school know how to prepare such things. Bring them, I will sign. <laughs> okay, I will bring the money to your house tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, can't you give me something to hold on to today? No, no. No, no, no. Let me hold okay. something. In that case, I think I'm going to give you some money. I have some money in my car. Come with me. Anytime uh, you have such a piece of land for sale, do not hesitate to tell me about it. Okay, I will. I will. But I, I will. Once I have land to sell, I'll rush to your house. It's all right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Especially flat one like this. Okay. Uh, okay. You don't have any problem. I have been in land matters for a long time. Now. Okay. I sell pieces of land that are in various shapes. Okay. Rectangular, triangular. Okay. I love. So that. things that go like this. This okay. way, okay. This way, okay. and then they match. Oh, very good. You know. <laughs> I hope well, this. There. I hope this our dealings will not erupt any. No, 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 no. You don't have anything. Anyway, I trust. Fear. I trust you. Okay. Are you an industrialist? Dennis, huh? So Dennis wants to sell this land, Bikon. Oh, he has sold it. He's going to take money. Eh? Okay. What are you doing? Don't you have something you can do with yourself? Huh? Papa Okechuku. Papa Okechuku. Who was the man you were standing with on the obese farm? When did you start questioning what I do with myself? When? Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, what you're doing is not good. Do you hear me? The gods will not look kindly on you. Instead of you to help unite your brother's family, you're busy tearing them apart for the sake of money. Will you shut up your mouth before thunder scatters your brain? No, I will not. Shut up! No, I won't. What will the world say? What will people say? When they hear 
that you are already selling your brother's property even before the children are united. Now, if you open your mouth one more time and I don't send you back to your parents, then don't call me Dennis Winter. What? Yeah. Which gods? Where were they when my brother was sent to school and I was forced to stay at home? This is the justice of the gods. I will take back what belongs to me. Now get out of here. Get out, Emma. Hey. Come, get, get out, idiot. Get out! I know this sounds like goodness to both of you. But I am saying that you cannot just walk back and with the wave of the hand correct several months of pains which you inflicted on your people that love you. Friend, I don't understand. You don't understand. I will not implement any of your father's directives until I see your mother and your sister back in the house. Uncle Fred, we didn't come to ask for dad's properties. But you tell me that we've reconciled. But our mother was banished from the village. How do we get her back? I'm not asking you to take your mother back to the village. Both of you have houses here in town. Why are you so ungraceful? Go and bring back your mother and your sister to the house. Reconcile with her. Until that happens, I will not do anything about your fellow square. Good night. Oh, God, oh, Ah, Denise. Denise. Yes, it is. Okoro. Okoro. Ah, Denise. Okoro. Keep this one for now. There will be more where this one came from. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Now we have effectively removed my brother's wife from the house. Mm. It's only his children who are now left. Mm. So all I need is your support as usual. Ah, so my own support. Your support. Ah. I'll give you my full support. I'll give you my oh, Dennis. I'll give you my full support. <laughs> Look. If this kind of money will continue to flow into my pocket, uh -huh. why won't I continue to support you? Don't uh -huh. worry. <laughs> Don't worry. All of them will be removed from the way. <clears throat> what will be my brother left will eventually be mine. That's why he was my brother. Finis, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. tell me, did you actually see your brother's wife with Thomas? <laughs> Did you see them? Okay, what do you think? <laughs> no, what do you think? <laughs> huh? I, am, I, I, I am wondering. Because you, know, because you sounded serious. Okuro, uh -huh. let me tell you. Uh -huh. Thomas is a fool. Oh. And a fool is the easiest thing you can destroy. Um, I just used what was available to achieve my aim. That's all. <laughs> Oh! 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 Ah! Oh! 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 
What brings you to our house? Sorry. I'm very sorry. I was not part of the plan. Not part of what? The people who, who accused you of, of sleeping with Mama Ekene. Ah. You see, what my husband did was an abomination. I hope God forgives us when the time comes. Uh, what makes you think that your husband is not telling the truth? I heard him. Yes, I heard him this evening talking to De, De Matthew. You heard him? He told De Matthew that, that he has succeeded in sending Mama Ekene away. That he's remaining the children. That when he disorganizes the children, he will, he will take over De Obi's property. Repeat what you have just said now before the Council of Elders. Of course, of course I will. Because I don't want my children and I to suffer for what we know nothing about. Yes, you say that you will be willing to repeat what you just said before the Council of Elders. Yes. Alright. You can go. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can go. Thank you for it. Yeah, goodbye. Good night. Good night. No, no, no. Hey, I heard that you people were back, so I decided to come and see you. <laughs> Thank you, Uba. No, no, no. You've done well. And I can see you are very busy. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> not yeah. at all. Okay. There's nothing much to do. What of okay? Okay is very fine. There then is one. There then is the Come on. Come. There's something. Yeah. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'm happy that this has happened and the family is back together. Uh, but what of your mother-in-law? Has anybody contacted her? When is she coming back? I'm okay. Hmm? You know it was the elders that banished her from the village. What rights or authority do we have to bring her back? Yes, you. Uh, but your mother-in-law was unjustly banished. What? She is not guilty of what my husband accused her of. What? So you should tell your husbands to go and bring their mother back. Hmm? This family will not be complete without your mother-in-law. You should try and bring her back. Oh. The truth will soon surface and I will, I will make sure of that. Okay, Mama, okay. Thank you very much. Kiruna si jiri chiono nana 
You people caused enough harm already. Why are you people tormenting us? Why? Why are we doing wrong? What? No. We're not here to torment you. Remember, we're your brothers. We've come to take you home. Please. Before your mother got married to your father, your father came here, paid the bride price, and took your mother home. So when your mother came back, nobody brought her to as the custom demands. So why are you here now to take her back? We have... Jamike! Ekene! I am home. I am where I rightfully belong. And I am not going anywhere else. No, Mama. You belong with your family. What family? What family? The one that rejected me? The one that threw me out into the cold? Where is Please, Mama, please. Come back home. Let's go! 
the one that both of you carelessly lost, or the one that your uncle Dennis wants to possess by every means possible, while both of you stand aside and watch as your mother is being slaughtered and maligned. Mama, mama, please, mama, please, don't, don't go on. Ekena and I have reconciled our differences. We, we've even gone together to see the lawyer, Uncle Fred. Yes, and Mama. Uncle Fred said we must bring you home. Yes. Without that, he will not hand over that properties. Uh -huh. Aha! Oh. <laughs> hey. So, you have come to use your mother to acquire your father's property? No, you come, come for me. Come for me. Oh, 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 even if we don't get a couple from what father left behind, we, we still want Mama back. Yes. She's, she's our mother. She's our mother. Yes. She's our... Oh. So, it is now you know. When you were here, told me that I was a disgrace to your father's name. You did not know I was your mother. Now, get up and go. Mama. I am at peace here. thinking about mama. Maybe Beta and I should go and speak to her while you and a can and see the elders and appeal to them. She's your mother. If you want her back, there's nothing the elders can say about it. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. The only reason why I'm sitting here is that you came from a very far place. And it will be most uncivil of me not to see you. We know, Mama. And we appreciate you agreeing to see us. Mama, we've come to appeal to you to come back home. Yes, Mama. Mama, there's peace now. And that is why we have come. Mama, whatever your sons have done, please forgive them. You're the only mother they have. And the only one we know. It is not what your husband did. But what both of you did. You remember? I called you. And asked you to help me talk to your husband. What did I get? Mama. Mama, things of the past should be left in the past. No, my daughter. Things of the past remain in the heart. My pains remain right inside me. Mama. Time heals all wounds. Auntie Gloria, how do you expect 
Mama to forget so soon. It's not that easy. Baba, it's not as bad as this. Please, Mama. Mama, please. Forgive us and come back home. Your grandchildren are missing you. They keep on asking after you and their hunting. What are we going to tell them if we go back without you? Tell them. Tell them that the one that was rejected has refused to be accepted. Tell them that I am also asking after them. They are still in my heart. Tell them their grandmother is also missing them. Tell them that your parents banished me. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Your tradition says that any woman who is mourning and sleeps with another man will be banished from your land. I am not aware that tradition has changed overnight. Mama, it has not changed. But recent developments have prompted our elders to ask you to come back. <coughs> My sister. <coughs> I think, I think uh, it is time for you to put the past where it belongs and go back to your children. No, Chukuma. It is not yet past. I was falsely accused of defiling my husband's bed by these same people who are asking me to come back. Did they not know that it was false accusation that was being leveled against me? Do not. Uh, Blame them. Blame your children for their lack of foresight and neglect. Mama. Mama. Please. Let us listen to the voice of the elders. We have suffered enough. For the sake of God and for my daughter, I will. But the only condition is that you must bring Dennis. Let him tell the whole world when and where he caught me defiling my husband's bed. That is the only condition.
I have been disgraced, insulted, and ridiculed everywhere I have turned. Little children follow me around chanting songs. I have had no peace since Dennis decided to accuse me of things that are most abominable. And what makes it most abominable? It is the act you committed with the widow of my late brother that makes it most abominable. Dennis, are you going to stand before this community and swear that you are telling the truth? <laughs> And me tomorrow and I walk. The eye does not lie. Your eyes lie, Dennis. Your eyes have been blinded by greed, and that is what is going to bring you to disgrace today. Mm. Yeah. My people, this innocent woman sitting here has been heaped with all hatred and snide comments. Mulende. She was sent away from her husband's house by what you thought was the truth. But thank God, the truth has a way of rising to the surface. And thank God, today we have an opportunity to speak the truth. Mama Chinedu. Nan. Bring her here. My people, you all know Mama Kechuku. She is Dennis's wife. Mm -hmm. uh, she has something to tell us. Mm -hmm. What my husband told you people about Dave, Thomas, and Mama Kene are lies. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. The other day I overheard him telling De Matthew that it was Dave Thomas that was standing between him and his late brother's properties. And that by removing Mama Ekene, he will now have access to his late brother's property. Hey! Hey! It's a bloody lie! It's a bloody lie! Will you sit down and listen to this concoction? It's a lie! Eh? Hey! It's a lie! Does she speak the truth? Abakuru, our gods look down with anger on an elder who keeps quiet and allows a she goat to deliver on her tetas. And you know, the punishment for keeping quiet is banishment. <laughs> she speaks the truth. Hey, hey, hey. 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 <laughs> and the other day, again, I saw my husband selling the late brother's land. It's a lie, yo! Oh. It's a lie! De. Eh? You did what? The truth! It's a lie! You did what? I didn't know! Oh, no! 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 We will settle him. We have to deal with him. No, he's dying. Please, please. He's dying. Jamie, this one. Here's Ali. 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 Please leave him. No, no, no. My children, let us leave Uncle Dennis alone and put everything into the hands of God. No matter what you say, he's still your uncle. No, Mama. I have not started with him. By the time I am through with him, his wife will not recognize him. Brother Kenny, I even heard that Uncle Dennis is gradually going senile. He's crazy. He now wonders about to know where in particular. You see? Is that not enough punishment for him? No, Mama. Uncle Dennis may be going crazy, but he's still evil. I want to watch him die slowly. I want to squeeze life out of him. God forbid. You want to be executed for murder? Who cares, Mama? Who cares? Yeah. 
Well, my children, I want you to remember that to err is human, but to forgive is divine. To Uncle Dennis, to forgive is a curse. Hi. Period. Talking is not getting us to anywhere. Hmm? But I jam again. Uncle Dennis is already a living corpse. Hmm. Why do you want to hasten his death? Look, Uncle Dennis doesn't mean well for this family, so he shouldn't leave. He thinks he's evil. But today, I'll tell him that I, Jamike, am the greater evil. There we go. Sit down. I think we should listen to Mama and let the old fool stay alive. We should not be part of his death. Thank you very much, my children. Mama, I'm not happy. Ah, oh, Mama, what is the matter? The unmentionable has visited us. Your uncle is dead. Which uncle? Dennis Mite. What? How did it happen? He sold his life to the forest. What is the meaning of that? His lifeless body is hanging on a tree. No! no. I wanted to be responsible for his death. Jamike! Yes, Mama, yes! Let me go and inform the elders. Beatles. 